Everybody's ready? All good? Uh, good morning. We're standing here in front of 80 Madison Avenue. A call came in this morning a little after midnight for an odor of smoke and fire in the building you see behind me. Unfortunately, there were six critical injuries of residents that were pulled out of this fire. Four of them have passed away. As you can see to my left, uh, it is very clear that this was caused by lithium ion batteries and e-bikes. Uh, there was a very large number of both batteries and e-bikes. This location is known to the fire department. We have written violations uh, at this location before, and we have conducted enforcement in this location before. So we would like to really emphasize today something that we have been saying over and over. While there is tremendous uh, and important regulation that we've conducted with the city council and the mayor's office, it is also very, very important we get the word out how incredibly dangerous this is. This exact scenario where there are is an e-bike store on the first floor and residences above and the volume of fire created by these lithium ion batteries is incredibly deadly. Our members responded quickly. They got entrance to the building quickly. They did an extraordinary job. Both fire and EMS put their lives on the line to pull victims out and did pull many victims out and were able to treat them right away. But the sheer volume of fire is incredibly dangerous. We've said this over and over. It can make it nearly impossible to get out in time. And so we really want to work with all of our local partners here to make sure that we are getting the message out that this can be incredibly dangerous, as we have unfortunately seen here this morning. Melissa? So we're working closely with the Parks Department to make sure that those are regulated devices and certified devices and that they are being charged safely. So that's really the key here is that bikes are both certified and are you being used safely. Yes, uh, I'd encourage everybody to go on our website, FDNY Smart, and see it for themselves. I'm not sure that I can appropriately describe it. What I would, would say, though, is it really is an explosion more so than it is a uh, smoldering fire, as you would often think. And so if you see the volume of fire that occurs immediately upon explosion, it can make it impossible in that moment. Um, you often hear us say that early warning is the best way to save yourselves from a fire. That is not the case in e-bikes. Um, there's so much fire created that it can often be too late as soon as the fire has begun and of course in a case like this one where there's multiple bikes or multiple batteries that's even more true I'm gonna let the chief fire marshal speak to that uh, Dan Flynn D-A-N-F-L-Y-N-N I'm the chief fire marshal uh, we did inspect this uh, property in August and we did uh, issue FDNY summonses uh, they were found guilty uh, in court um, that, those were all related to the charging of the batteries and the number of batteries that they had at the location. So we have been aware of this location, and uh, there was also some uh, violations issued in 2021 as well. So. There, yes, there are several. There, there are violations related to the charging of these devices. There are vi violations that are... Uh, uh, related to the amount of devices that are at the location. Uh, there are violations uh, related to the electrical wiring that it takes to charge these, these devices. So the, they were, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, there's a process in place, so we, we would, uh, that was issued in August, and we, will, we would re-inspect that uh, location. But um, after the court hearing, then it gets referred back to us, and then we will come out and re-inspect. Re Uh, they were found guilty, as I, I said. Uh, they were they were given a sixteen hundred dollar fine. Uh, now we, we would ultimately come out and reinspect. We did do some surveillance recently at the location. We saw that they were not charging the batteries uh, at the time, but they do have many many batteries, which is also a violation of the fire code. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, so as of today, including this fire, we have 108 related to lithium-ion batteries and 13 fatalities. Um, that is significantly higher than last year. I believe we were at two as of this time last year, two. Um, so again, we really want to implore everyone uh, to make sure that they are taking this incredibly seriously. Um, the city council and the mayor's office passed some additional legislation that will give us additional enforcement capacity that the uh, chief fire marshal was referring to. But some of these bikes are here already. So even as we regulate them, we have to make sure we're getting the word out about how dangerous these unregulated bikes are and the fact that they are here already in the city. Okay, this is the last question. I'd suggest two things. One, that if they do see a condition like this, that they call 311. I believe the original uh, notification and enforcement that we received on this was via 311. Um, so we would really encourage New Yorkers to call 311, help us in our enforcement and education efforts. I'd also encourage them to follow all of the basic fire safety tips that you'd want in any fire. Make sure you have a working smoke alarm. Make sure you have uh, direct access and know how to get out of your building, whether that's uh, a uh, fire escape or whether or not you have a sprinkler building. You know, knowing your way out, knowing what to do. An emergency is key, but also making sure that we are aware of these conditions so we can make sure that they are not happening uh, on the first floor of your building. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks.